Good morning everyone. This discussion is all about the Republic Act No. 8491. Before we start, may I introduce ourselves? I am Lizelle Araojo, together with my groupmates Miss May Antan, Miss Kate Kuala, and Miss Resha Orahai. This discussion will only cover Section 1 to Section 18. So now, let's start. Republic Act No. 8491 Republic Act No. 8491 is hereby amended to highlight the importance of complying, abiding, and conforming to the standards expression as prescribed by law introduced by Senator Ramon Vong Rebilla Jr. This began and held in Metro Manila on Monday, the 28th day of July 1997 Section number 1 or Section 1 Short Title This act shall be known as the Flag and Heraldic Code of the Philippines. States that reverence and respect shall at all times be accorded the flag, the anthem, and other national symbols which embody the national ideals and which express the principles of sovereignty and national solidarity. Section 2 is Declaration of Policy. Reverence and respect shall at all times be accorded the flag, the anthem, and other national symbols which embody the national ideals and traditions and which express the principles of sovereignty and national solidarity. The heraldic items and devices shall seek to manifest the national virtues and to inculcate in the minds and hearts of our people a just pride in their native land, fitting respect and affection for the national flag and anthem, and proper use of national motto, coat of arms, and other heraldic terms and devices. Common policy and declarations are all placed on one or two pages at the beginning of the insurance policy. Frequently referred to as the declarations page, this portion of your insurance contract provides a convenient overview of your insurance coverage and conditions. So, in Section 3, they have 12 terms and the first one is military. Military shall mean all branches of the armed forces of the Philippines including the Philippine National Police or the PNP, the Bureau of Jail Management and Penology, and the Bureau of Fire and Protection. The second one is fiston, shall mean to hang in a curved shape between two points as a decoration. The third one is flag. Flag shall mean the Philippine national flag unless stated otherwise. The fourth is fly. Shall mean part of the flag outside the hoist or length. Next is symbol. Symbol shall mean any conventional sign which reveals man's achievement and heroism for orders and decorations identification authority and a sign of dignity for coat of arms logo and insignia next half mast shall mean lowering the flag to one half the distance between the top and bottom of the staff hoist shall mean the part of the flag nearest the staff or the canvas to which the halyard is attached. Inclement weather shall mean that a typhoon signal is raised in the locality. Next is national anthem. Shall mean the Philippine national anthem. Official residences shall mean Malacanang and other government owner structures where the president resides and other structures occupied by the Philippine consulate or embassies abroad. Second to the last is places of frivolity. 
shall mean places of hilarity marked by or providing boisterous merriment or recreation. And last is institute, shall mean the National Historical Institute. So the next topic is about the design of the national flag. Section 4. The flag of the Philippines shall be blue, white, and red with an 8 rayed golden yellow sun and 3 pointed stars as consecrated and honored by the people. The flag was made of silk. The sun represents liberty and its eight rays represent the first eight provinces that revolted against Spain. The three stars stands for the three big islands of the Philippines, namely Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. As for the colors used, white represent hope for equality, while the blue stripe stands for peace, truth, and justice. Finally, the red stripes symbolizes patriotism and valor. However, when the two stripes are interchanged, this signals that the country is in a state of war. The Philippine flag, one of the national symbols of the country, has a rich story behind it as it stood as witness to a glorious events of the Philippine history. While it symbolizes the nation's ideals, patriotism, and aspirations, the flag also stands for the freedom that Filipino revolution leaders and ancestors had fought and died for. So now, may I call Miss May Antan to continue the discussion. Thank you, Miss Lizelle Ann Araojo. B hosting and display of the national flag section number five the flag shall be displayed in all public buildings official residence public plaza and institution of learning every day throughout the year section number six the flag shall be permanently hoisted day and night throughout the year in front of the following at the malacanang palace the Congress of the Philippines Building, Supreme Court Building, the Rizal Monument in Loneta, Manila, Aguinaldo Shrin in Kawit, Cavite, Baraoy Sin Shrin in Malolos, Bulacan, the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, Libingan ng Mga Bayani, Mauselos de los Peteranos de la Revolution, All International Ports Entry, and all other places as may be designated by the institution. The flag shall be properly illuminated at night. Section number 7. The flag shall also be displayed in private buildings and residents or raised in the open flag staff in front of the said buildings. Every April 9, Araw ng Kagitingan, May 1, Labor Day, May 28, National Flag Day to June 12, Independence Day. Last Sunday of August, National Heroes Day, November 30, Bonifacio Day, and December 30, Rizal Day. On such other days as may be declared by the President and or local chief executives. The flag may be also displayed throughout the year in private buildings or offices or raised in the open on flag staff in front of the private buildings, provided that they observe flag raising ceremonies in accordance with the rules and regulation to be issued by the Office of the President. Section number 8. All government agencies and instrumentalities and local government offices Government-owned corporation and local government units are enjoyed to observe Flag Day with appropriate ceremonies. Social civic group, non-government organizations, and the private sector 
are exhorted to cooperate in making the celebration a success. So now, may I call Ms. Rosha Francine Orahay to continue the discussion. Thank you, Ms. Tan. I am Rosha Francine Orahay and I am here to report Sections 9 to 13 from the Republic Act 8491 under Chapter 1, the National Flag, Letter B, Hoisting and Display of the National Flag. Section 9. The flag shall be flown on merchant ships of the Philippine Registry of more than 1,000 gross tons and on all naval vessels. On board naval vessels, the flag shall be displayed on the flag staff at the stern when the ship is at anchor. The flag shall be hoisted to the gaff of the aftermast when the ship is at sea. Section 10. The flag, if flown from a flagpole, shall have its blue field on top in time of peace and the red field on top in time of war. If in a hanging position, the blue, the blue field shall be to the right, left of the observer in time of peace, and the red field to the right, left of the observer in time of war. The flagpole stop must be straight and slightly tapering at the top. Section 11. If planted on the ground, the flag pole shall be at a prominent place and shall be of such height as would give the flag commanding position in relation to the buildings in the vicinity. If attached to a building, the flag pole shall be on top of its roof or anchored on a steel projecting at an angle upward. If on stage or platform or government office, the flag shall be at left, facing the stage, or the left of the office upon entering. Section 12. When the Philippine flag is flown with another flag, the flags, if both are national flags, must be flown on separate staffs of the same height and shall be of equal size. The Philippine flag shall be hoisted first and lowered last. If the other flag is not a national flag, it may be flown in the same line yard as the Philippine flag but below the latter and it cannot be of greater size than the Philippine flag. Section 13. When displayed with another flag, the Philippine flag shall be on the right of the other flag. If there is a line of other flags, the Philippine flag shall be in the middle of the line. When carried in a parade with flags, which are not national flags, the Philippine flag shall be in the front of the center of the line. Those are sections 9 to 13 from RA 8491 and now I hereby call Ms. Kuala to report the following sections. Thank you, Ms. Resha Orahai. Are you waiting for next witness or should I say reporter? Again, my name is Kate Angeline Kuala, calling your attention to present the section 14 to 18 of the Republic Act number 8491. Section 14. A flag worn out through wear and tear shall not be thrown away. It shall be solemnly burned to avoid misuse or decoration. The flag shall be replaced immediately when it begins to show signs of wear and tear. Section 15. The flag shall be raised at sunrise and lower at sunset. It shall be on the mass at the start of official office hours, shall remain flying throughout the day. Let's move forward to the section 16 that has six parts. The flag may be displayed to the following letters. A. Inside or outside, a building or on a stationary flag poles. If the flag is displayed indoors on a flagpole, it shall be placed at the left of the observer as one enters the room. Letter B. From the top of a flagpole, which shall be at a prominent place or a commanding position in relation to the surrounding buildings. And letter D. In a suspended position from a rope extending from a building to pole erected away from the building. 
For the continuation of section 16, the flag may be displayed also in letter E. Flag against the wall vertically with the sun and stars on top. And last but not the least, letter F. Hanging in a vertical position across a street with the blue field pointing east if the road is heading south or north or pointing north if the road is heading east or west. In section 17, it is stated that the flag shall be hoisted to the top briskly and lowered ceremoniously. The flag shall never touch anything beneath it, such as the ground, cloud, water, or other objects. After being lowered, the flag shall be handled and folded solemnly as part of the ceremony. Conduct of Flag Raising Ceremony Section 18 All government offices and educational institutions shall henceforth observe the flag raising ceremony every Monday morning and the flag lowering ceremony every Friday afternoon. The ceremony shall be simple and dignified and shall include the playing or singing of the Philippine National Anthem. To end our part with finality, Your Honor, our presentation is adjourned. I hope that you learned something from us. Thank you for listening and may God bless us all.